Hello friends and strangers, I am Heli and in this video I am taking you with me into Story of Seasons, Pioneers of Olive Town. It is day 16 of summer and no birthdays today. Now this episode is going to be a bit of a different one compared to my usual videos because it's going to be a yard makeover episode. So it's going to be very much longer than my usual videos and in this episode I will attempt a complete makeover of this yard over here. So the first farm area. But before I can do that, I'm going to need some inventory space. So a trip to the museum is in order. We have an inventory full of unidentified objects. So let's get them identified. Oh. What do we have here? Ambergris. Oh. Jewelry ring. Oh. Another amber oh. green. And yet oh. another one. Okanite. Oh. Flexible cloth. Another Okanite. A silver town medal. A gold ingot. A silver ingot. Another silver ingot. Another flexible cloth. And yet another flexible cloth there. Gold ingot. Oh. One more flexible cloth. And a desert rose. Now Let's go do some inventory management and then start our yard makeover project. Thank you for the ride, Moonbeam. We can sell the Okanite. Ambergris, Desert Rose, and Silver Town Metal. We'll put the ingots in here. The jewelry ring in here.
we'll process this brown alpaca wool and of course put the flexible cloth away The first thing I want to do is get rid of these fields. In their place, I'm going to put the chicken coop. Oops, I actually meant to harvest all of these. There, now we can get rid of the field. This too. I love the area in our hammer swings. It's just perfect for this. We'll have to hit the corn a few times to get rid of it, and then once more to get rid of the field. I'm not too concerned about getting rid of the corn there because we have some corn growing in our summer garden so really it's not not as necessary as last year to grow stuff in here we'll keep these two tiles here to mark where we want to have the path that'll lead us away from our farm. And we'll of course get rid of all the other tiles, except, uh, I'm thinking maybe we should have this path over here. We may eventually want to move those chests someplace else, but for now, it'll be handy to have this path here, since the chests are there, to, um, to give us an unobstructed, well, path to the chests. Those tiles will make sure that no rocks spawn or trees grow or or grass grows onto that path of course we'll get rid of the sprinklers as well and really it would be nice to see a bit better down here so we'll eventually have to get rid of those trees as well. Just to be able to better see what we're doing. There, just a bit more of these paths to pick up and a few sprinklers of course. And a sprinkler, and another, and just a couple more bits of path, and that sprinkler. And here we are. Oh, we can't, can't go any higher than that with the path, that's fine. I think we're just about ready to put down the coop. Sorry, I'll, I'll have your coop set up over here in just a moment. Yep, that's the place. That'll leave us some room to put a fence around it. 
make it look all nice and and pretty our cozy coop now that we have that down we should actually go and get the chickens yep it's it's placed all right let's pick up these eggs and tell the chickens that their home is over there now Clover Hairbell Sunflower And Orchid I think that's everybody At least I don't see anybody roaming around with a question mark on their head We can sell those peppers and we actually need to take some stone from here because as I said we are going to make some fence come on out everybody and actually since it's almost 5 p.m. let's let the barn animals out as well Sorry that I don't have time right now to look after you properly, but at least I can let you outside so you can eat and play and enjoy the sunshine. I think 50 fences should be good to start with we'll start from let's see right here hmm just making sure that it it is set at the right distance from the coop and there I guess we could put the gate over here yeah then we'll continue with the fence of a yard do we want them to have let's cut down these trees so we can see a bit more clearly what we're doing and what size yard we are giving our chickens I think this should be big enough there aren't really all that many of them and they don't really take up all that much room let's put some fence on this side too oh yeah I can't 
put any there. So, let's go this way. And I guess it would be nice to have a gate on this side too. Just so we can go through easily if we want to get to the chests or something. So we'll put the gate right there. And continue placing down the fence. One more piece. There. Um, I guess we we'll want to move the stable too, if the um, if the road is going to be there. We'll want the stable to be right next to the road for like super easy uh very super easy riding to town basically so let's pick these up now that we can see what kind of a footprint the stable has we can we can kind of plan where to put it down it's already like 9 p.m well at least we got the coop placed today that's already huge we have the whole other side of this yard to uh, make over, but we can start on that tomorrow. Let's just figure out this stable thing tonight. Ah, we can't put anything in that space. Alright, alright. So the uh, stable uh, footprint needs to end where the road ends. So it'll need to be placed a bit lower than I plan to place it. Let's put down these path pieces so that we can see where exactly the road is and where exactly we'll put the stable. Right there would be a good place. So we'll need to remove this maker and why not this one too. Just to make sure now let's place this here. Yeah, right there. And what was it that we'd called this? It had something to do with moonbeams or unicorns or... Ah, that's right. Yeah, it was the fable stable. Seeing as unicorns are a fable. There. Now we'll just have 
to put Moonbeam back in there. And that's today's work done. But it's only 11 p.m. So why not continue a bit longer? Place down these tiles. Tiles here and... We are going to be working on this part of our yard tomorrow. So since we have time here, we may as well already remove some of these tiles so we don't have to do it all tomorrow. And I do very much want to finish this coop and coop and barn placing thing uh, before I end this episode. So, um, this episode will have at least two days in it. So I'll also include tomorrow in this same episode just because it'll be sort of in the same theme I'll just be working on the yard let's put the egg and flour into the fridge and Go have a few hours of sleep. Now we can continue working on our yard. Oh, a new little chick. Aww. What should we call you? Let's call you Chamomile. Good morning, Snowdrop, Magnolia. Seeing as it is a rainy day, we are going to need to take some fodder to our animals. You are going to need six now. So there you go. And let's pick up these eggs. And why not also give everybody a few pets while we're here. There. Don't want these trees growing here. we could start with making some mayo. That'll get us a bit more inventory space. And 
we can also sell the mail we just picked up. Empty those makers so that it'll be easier for us to fit them into our inventory when we need to move them out of the way. The lumber goes in here. It's still a little bit of getting used to to have to press A there to, to uh, open those gates. But I'm sure I'll be used to that soon enough. A couple more things into that treasure chest. Just so that we'll have some inventory space to pick up all of those makers. Here's some food for you. Oops. How many do you need? I think it was eight, wasn't it? We've usually always given them eight. Sorry, another day of uh, not proper uh, taking care of these animals. Let's start clearing this area. I actually have a bit of an idea of where to put that chicken topiary. Of course we can't put it here because it can't go on top of paths. But I was thinking we could add another gate. So put a gate somewhere like right here. Oh, we can't center it. This side happens to be made of an even number of uh, fence pieces. So we'll have the gate right there and then the chicken topiary can go right here. That looks nice. Let's once again put the five star egg into the fridge and the oregano as well. And now we can get back to clearing this area. First, we'll get rid of these makers. We'll have to figure out new places for them at some point, but for now, let's just worry about clearing this area. I was thinking I could put the bonds over here, because kind of the, um, the most important chore here at the farm for me is to take care of all the farm animals. So I think it would make sense to put those farm animals close to my house. 
the chickens I already moved yesterday and today I'm going to move the the uh, barn animals once we've cleared this area I think it's going to be just the right size for two barns and of course a bit of a barn yard for the animals to to wander in so many puddles Let's get rid of all of them, including that. And now I think we have an area into which we could put those barns. One by one, of course. So let's go get one of them. Sorry, I'll have your home placed in, in just a little bit. So we'll want the two barns side by side of course. So, which height? This height? Sure. I guess we could place the milky barn on this side and then go get the other barn and place it right next to it. This way, these barns are going to be kind of in the wrong order. So the milky barn is going to be on the left. And up until now it has always been on the right. But I'll get used to it, I'm sure. Really? You go in here too? And Rowan. Olive. Cornflower. Petunia. Columbine. Ginseng. That has to be everybody because there's no more room in there. Now we'll go put the woolly barn right next to the milky barn. call it the woolly barn right there get the animals back in Acacia, Willow, Fern, Ash, 
dandelion. Blossom. Aloe. Daisy. And Ophelia. I think that's everybody. There were nine of them, right? And I'll have to feed them again. Luckily, we did get the feed back when we moved the barns. So it's not like I'll have to feed them twice or give them twice the amount of, of feed today. And uh, we actually need nine per barn now because yesterday or in in our last episode we did get those prayer animals so the pink bunny and or the pink rabbit and the black cow so we have nine per barn now Where should we begin with the fencing? I guess we want to begin by removing these puddles and flowers and trees and grasses just in case they happen to be in the way To remove those mayo makers too eventually but for now let's put the fence where we can oh can't put any into that gap that's a bit inconvenient I do hate leaving gaps like that but I guess I'll just have to live with that. Let's put some fence down on this side too. down this side hmm we we sort of ran into a bit of a problem here with the stable how to solve it do I have to move the stable before I do that, I do want to experiment a little with uh, placing this fence a bit differently. Oh, oh, 
I can't. It would have to be this far away from the barn. That's too bad. Well, another idea I had was to to make the barn yard a bit of an irregular shape. So let's just see what that would look like. If if I would hate it or if it would be okay. Because you never know for sure until you try it. Let's see. We do have to move this mayo maker. Corner down there. One more piece on this side. And then we'd um, we'd put a corner here. Would this be bad? Or would it be okay? No, I I don't like it. Mm -mm. Well, at least we can put down the fence over here at the back. We'll take another look at the front in the morning. So, I am going to include a third day into this episode because I would really like to get this, this um, barn project done as well before I end the episode. So, a three day episode it is then. And before we go to bed, we can place the fence back here. Just so we don't have to do this in the morning. Right. So in the morning, we can take another look at the front and decide what to do about it. I think I am going to have to move the stable. Right, another day dawns and it is a sunny one. So the cats will be outside. Good morning Magnolia. Snowdrop. And yes, I am going to move the stable so that we can have the barnyard a regular size. Let's put a gate over here. And just in case 
we want to go through like to the to the mine over there or something we'll put a gate onto the left side too and we'll continue with the fence down this way how big of a yard do we want to make just in case let's pick up some of these tiles I don't think the yard is going to be this big, but just in case. And that one too. Hmm. We will need to get rid of this mayo maker and this one too. They are both directly in the way of the fence. We can fit one mayo maker in there. We'll just have to work with a bit of a full inventory. I think it'll be fine. That away. At some point, we'll have to clear away that chest too. But for now, I'm going to leave it. My inventory is full enough already. We'll clear that chest um, once we get a bit more space into our inventory. so that I can walk over to the corner there and put down the corner piece oh you can't put anything down there we'll have to do is we'll just have to make the yard a little bit smaller so instead of this fence being here we'll put it right here so just a just a little bit higher up This will then make it so that we can also put down the uh, lower left corner. The gate goes here. And we'll have to remove that sapling.
just a couple more pieces. And that's the fence complete. Now we'll just need to figure out the paths and, well, the stable. I guess the stable will be the first thing we need to figure out. Hmm. We can actually put it pretty close to the place where it was. Just a um, little more to the right. It'll be nice to have the stable right next to the road for very easy and convenient riding into town. And now we should have the space for it. There, that's perfect. And it's the Fable Stable. This time I actually remembered. We'll... Once again write the name here. And then tell Moonbeam that her home is right there. Let's let the animals out. It's already like almost 5 p.m. The time does really fly in this game. Oh, a rock spawned. They're in that gap that we couldn't place a, um, a fence piece in. Well, that's quite convenient, actually. Oh, I, I didn't mean to eat that. Just meant to pick up these tiles. Luckily, it was just a berry. We really need to be able to see a bit clearer what we're doing right here. So getting rid of these trees is necessary. Let's put down some path. I guess we could like straight up surround the stable with paths. So on this side, the path would go right here. I think. Let's just make sure. Yeah, perfect. Just perfect. Now, of course, we'll have to put down some decorations and things, and we still have those makers, places to figure out too. But I think we've done rather well here. Not too shabby. And the rock spawned in just the right place too. We still have a few hours before bedtime. So let's use that to figure out some more of these paths. Hmm. 
Hmm. This place, though. I guess we need to get rid of that puddle and that bit of grass there so that we can place down oh okay well that's just going to have to be like that then i guess Now, what to do about the road to the bridge? I'll probably rethink this, um, in the future, but for now, we'll place it down somehow like this. Hmm, I'm not entirely happy with that, but it is getting a bit late, so we'll figure this out sometime in the future. Now, places for makers. I don't think I want to try to cram them in over here. Or over here. So I guess I'll have to place them here in the second farm area. Someplace. We'll figure that out probably tomorrow this episode has gone on plenty long enough though so I'm not going to include that in this episode as well so um, in the next episode we'll figure out at least some of the places for the makers at least some, if not all. Probably here, kind of along the cliff's edge. Yeah, that chest is completely full. We'll also think of some decorations in the future and place them down as we get good ideas for them. But I do think this has been a good start. And one sort of uh, decorative thing I that I want to place down already is some lanterns. We have a couple of choices here. The uh, gorgeous street lamp would of course be gorgeous, but I think the stone lantern might fit better in with the uh, stone fence and stone gate. So, let's try this. One there. 
and oops one here that looks nice over here we have a couple of choices we could put the lanterns like this or we could remove these tiles oops and put the lanterns exactly like the other ones on each side of the gate I think I do prefer this this way mm-hmm looks nice It is getting very late though, so we'll have to continue figuring this out in the next episode. And for now, I thank you for spending time with me here on The Mellow. It was lovely to have you. If you'd like to show some support, please leave this video a like and perhaps a comment too. I'd really appreciate that. And if you're not already subscribed, then please do subscribe to conveniently keep up with my content and to show me that you want to keep watching my videos. Remember to be kind to yourself. Have a lovely rest of your day. And I'll see you next time.